Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy, Roth, Fathead and Candy uh, discussing Candy's oldest son, KC, the big wedding from this past weekend, and we left off uh, earlier with the rehearsal dinner finishing. You went back to your incredible, like, three-room suite that they yes. made for you. I could move in there. At the Crystal Springs Resort. Uh, the only setback was because of COVID. There was no room service. Oh, this, what what a tragedy. How terrible. I know. I know. Uh, and now you've gone to sleep, and you have a 6.30 a.m., uh, not a wake up call. You must be in the bridal right. suite at six thirty a.m. on Sunday. So the alarm goes off. I get up. I'm like, I'm not going. I cannot. I will do my own hair and makeup. <laughs> I can't be all made up and ready to go this early in the morning. I cannot. The wedding starts at three. Pictures start at eleven. It's six thirty in the morning. I cannot do it. I cannot. So I texted with Esther. She's like, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. So then I went back to bed for a little while. It all worked out great. Uh, I went to the bridal suite. We did our pictures there. Then we went outside at 11. We did all the family shots and all the stuff, you know, that they do. Yeah, wait, so slow down. Fine. Slow down. Right. So I want to, before we get too far, um, you ended up doing your own or the woman yes. did it? No, I ended up doing oh. my own. Okay, so you got some more sleep in. That's good. Got some more. I couldn't do it. I said, if they put full <laughs> eyelashes on me at 6.30 this morning, I might cry. Okay, all right. So uh, you're ready. You do the pictures. You're taking the pictures. All right. Yes. Now, you know, I am divorced from my I have an ex-husband. He was there. It was, you know, it was uh, fine. You don't have to whisper it. We know all this, Candy. <laughs> okay. Uh, ex so, ex-husband was there. So yes. We took yeah. pictures mm -hmm. with, you know, uh, Kenny and I and Casey and Jack. You know, family uh -huh. photos with Esther and Tim and Evan and her kids and whatever. You know how you do. So then I went to the photographer and I said, you know, I'm no longer with my husband. I would like some of these just myself. So they did a whole bunch. They were really nice. So they did a whole bunch of stuff with that. Um, they're great photographers because we had them at the bridal shower um love them they do a great job so we okay. did all of that and then um we you know people started to arrive and stuff and it was awesome now wait before we get to the the actual ceremony how many uh let's uh, however many people were there what percentage stayed over at the hotel what percentage showed up mm. the day of i would say the majority of people stayed over Okay. There were uh, there was a couple of bridesmaids that came the day of. Um, the flower girls came the day of. Now I sent you a picture because uh, their mother, their Brooke, uh, Brooklyn and Cassidy, their mother Chrissy, was my flower girl at my wedding back in 1990. Your okay? niece. She's your niece, right? Or she's my niece. Yeah. And she's Kenny's goddaughter, and you know we love her and. We adore her. So anyway, she was my flower girl, and now who, her two girls were the flower girls of Casey's wedding. It's so beautiful. I love that. beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so people show up. Now the ceremony starts at 3. How long is the ceremony? Where is it taking place? Um, it's taking place outside on a – there's beautiful, you know, flower arrangement, and st it was gorgeous. The weather – on a mountain, so you could have this beautiful mountain view. It was absolutely gorgeous. The weather – perfect 10 for the weather weather it was really unbelievable how nice it a day it was and then of course we had to walk down the aisle walk casey down the aisle uh and we did that and it was fun and i'm glad i did that and uh, we were very emotional you know it's our baby yeah a gift from god and we're here he is he's a man going on you were bawling so, I did not bowl because I had already walked him down the aisle last June, at which point I was bowling. So the bowling, I was out of the bowling already because I'd already done it. My uh, ex-husband was not. He cried, it, you know, and then I felt I knew I did the right thing by doing it with him. And, uh, and then the uh, cocktail hour started, which was in a rotunda. All the windows open of this round rotunda, and what a cocktail hour it was. And I think that's probably where I am most upset. Not because I could have seen you and seen your whole family and everything, but I hate missing any cocktail hour, Kim. I gotta say, this was right up there. You know, I'm a big uh, viewer of four weddings, where it's a competition who has the best yes. wedding and whatever. 
and I, I'm telling you, I give this wedding a nine. It would have got a ten, but I'll tell you one snafu, if you're ready. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now we're at the cocktail hour, which was lovely. Everything you could imagine. There was an Asian station. There was an Italian station. There were slider stations where you could have pulled pork or little hot, uh, little uh, hamburgers with all the fixings. There were raw oysters, shrimp cocktail, crab cakes. There was a sushi area, but no uh, raw fish. It was just vegetables, uh, sushi vegetable. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a little bit of everything you could ever imagine. They were walking around with little lobster rolls. <laughs> they were phenomenal. And yes, your father will be happy. They were walking around with pigs in blankets. Mm, beautiful. And so what's it the was, snafu? You said there's a snafu. Well, in the ceremony, not the ceremony, the reception, there was a snafu. Well, uh, you want to save this? Now we got a cocktail. Do we sure, save? I'll save this. Yeah, I got in. I'm going to need a lot of time for that. All right, so let's let's save this. By the way, if anyone has to tune out, they're going to work, they're whatever, we are going to take all of this. It'll be up later after 12 o'clock. It'll be up at licountry.com. You can listen to all of it. So hold it right there. Uh, the cocktail hour. I felt like I just ate seven lobster rolls, Candy. Uh, I had two, and I could have had more, but I wanted to try everything. Quite the description. Uh, we will come back with more. First, we have your entertainment at about 8.12. And uh, later in the 8 o'clock hour, we will finish up this incredible, lavish wedding story. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.